Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the second half of November. This is your financial reading. Uh, I will be going live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. You can catch me live. But uh, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, you start off with the Three of Diamonds and the Five of Clubs. Some of you could be having uh, conflicts in financial matters. Some of you could also be dealing with uh, court or, um, and again, that could be affecting you financially could be like from a breakup divorce or something like that or this could also be some other financial like mistake uh, mostly involving paperwork so again some of you could be dealing with some sort of financial mistake and again it could be causing conflict um, this isn't actually that bad of a card though um, and neither is this because three of diamonds represents minor mistakes things that you can overcome things that will be fixed so if there are any financial mishaps for you I do feel like um, again in, in the rest of the month by the way here looks really really good um, so again I would say if there are any financial things that are, you're dealing with right now, I do feel like those things are clearing up in the second half of this month. I would say definitely be careful with your paperwork. Anything involving like your taxes or anything official like involving the government or um, you know tickets or anything like that, I'd say make sure you know if you get a ticket you pay it um, if you are going to pay it or that you fill out the paperwork correctly so you can go to court or whatever is you know that's what I would say here with this three of diamonds but um, you know again even if you make a mistake it's never really that big of an issue with this card but it is annoying so I would say you know avoid those minor annoyances. Uh, next you have the three of spades with the queen of diamonds so I do feel like there is some sort of harvest coming in for you. For some of you, I feel like this three of spades is saying that you have to make some sort of change. There is some sort of change that needs to be made so that you can allow more money coming in. For some of you, I feel like it's a new job. Uh, this came up for cancer as well, I believe. Uh, I do feel like there are a few signs where it's like if things aren't working out, I feel like the universe is being like very straightforward and it's saying like you need to make a change to improve for improvements basically. If you don't make that change, you'll just stay stuck. Um, you know, mostly I think looking at the chart here, I feel like this is Saturn and Capricorn. Saturn and Capricorn is like pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It says like, you know, you know, it's kind of like one plus one equals two with uh, Saturn and Capricorn. It's like, you know, pretty straightforward. It says like, if things aren't working out, make a change. It's it's just that easy. For others of you, I feel like this could be a, a divorce. And again, you could be getting money in a divorce or you could be getting child support or something with this card as well. Uh, for others of you, I feel like you're like starting a business. This could be you leaving a job to start a business or it could be your ideas as well that uh, would lead to you starting a business. And that looks good as well. Uh, next, you have the five of hearts and the joker. A lot of people getting the Joker right now. I don't know. We have a, like, you know, just looking at the chart again, there is a lot of new energy. Um, I've never in my life of reading cards on YouTube have seen so many cards of newness. You literally have the Ace of Diamonds and the Nine of Diamonds as well. Uh, even in the daily readings, it's like constantly like new, 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 new. Those are like all the messages I get. Uh, this is like the Fool card. And it is a card of like preparation, getting started on something, you know, thinking about starting some sort of new project or new business or idea. And it says you are preparing for that. And Five of Hearts is a card of just the Birth or something new, and I don't know. I feel I feel like we are kind of giving given. Uh, it's almost like we're given this like launching board. You know, it's more like a rocket platform. It's like you are a rocket at this time, and I feel like you're getting ready to launch. So a lot of you could be getting ready to launch something. There's a lot of pre preparation. The weird thing about the chart right now is is it's like we have a lot of support, but we also have a lot of things that are like saying like, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to make this your life? Do you really like, especially in financial matters, it's like you know Venus opposite uh, Uranus. It's like saying you know is ca you can live your perfect life. What it in that position is like, what does that perfect life look like? How can you create it? But also, do you really want it? Is that what you really want? So it's like, you know, in a lot of ways, it's like, I feel like people are going back and forth. That was a really long way to say, I feel like some people are saying, like, okay, I want this type of job, but then maybe you go back to something else. And then you're like, okay, I do want to make that change. It's like this back and forth type of energy. So I feel like a lot of people are feeling that. And I feel like that's what these cards are talking about as well. Uh, Ace of Diamonds is your answer. Uh, Ace of Diamonds does say start something new. Jack of Hearts, new offer. For some of you, this could simply be a new job offer. For others of you, this could be you stepping off on a new path financially, uh, you know, totally and completely. So that could be a new job. Um, or it could be you starting a new business or, you know, think going back to school. Cool, so they could start something new and I, I really see a lot of people doing that in the future as well I feel like a lot of people will go into training I actually don't even think people will be going back to school looking at the chart 
you know, not school, not necessarily university. I feel like people will be taking advantage of jobs where there's on the job training. I do feel like uh, in the future as well, jobs are going to be forced to do that, or they're going to be forced to take more uh, on the job training stuff because, um, you know, again, I feel like people are just going to stop going to school, quite frankly. If we just look at Saturn and Capricorn, again, I don't want to bore you with the details, but between now and 2026, I think people are going to realize that school is kind of useless and they're just going to, um, you know, kind of do more on the job training or do more like on online trading in stuff like that. So uh, that's what I see there for you. I do feel like online trading would be good for you as well, gathering skills. Uh, finally, you have the Nine of Diamonds, something new, Six of Spades, Fate. Um, a lot of you could have a tower moment. Again, we kind of talked about this in the beginning. You could add some sort of surprise financially, and I do feel like this is a turnaround for you. I feel like there is some sort of like financial uh, turnaround here for you, and I feel like there is some like more money coming in. But I feel like it's through your own efforts. I feel like a lot of you are like going to be willing to put more effort in, and um, yeah, I, I, that's what it is. I feel like you're ready to put more effort in, and you're really ready to put the work in uh, to get the money now. And I feel like that's going to lead to just better finances with this card here. Uh, this is a card of incremental improvements. So uh, again, Saturn and Capricorn, the improvements we get under Saturn and Capricorn are very step by step. You know, it's a goat climbing the mountain. So they're, they're kind of like one thing after another. And I do feel like that is what's going to happen to you financially, especially as we go into 2019. Again, I know this is a mid-month reading, but I feel like for you, it's like until 2019. I feel like it's like, you know, step by step, but it uh, looks good to me. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.